MMA is a grueling sport where one of the most valued attributes is durability. This is a list of 10 fighters who are known to lack the ability to take punishment and lose by knockout more often than not. These are the top 10 weakest chins in MMA. Number 10. Chuck Liddell Chuck Liddell retired in 2010 after three consecutive KO losses. His chin just couldn't hold up to the punishment of MMA any longer. Chuck Chuck used to have a granite chin and was tough as nails, but age got the better of him and eventually the granite turned to glass. <laughs> Number 9. Brendan Schaub Brendan Schaub made it to the finals of The Ultimate Fighter Season 10, where he was knocked out by big country Roy Nelson. Schaub was also knocked out by jiu-jitsu practitioner Antonio Noguera and Ben Rothwell, among others. And he's hurt there. Brendan is fighting the Invisible Man. <laughs> Friends and fans were worried about Schaub's health so much that UFC commentator Joe Rogan had a brutally honest talk with him on his podcast. The reality of your skill set and where you're at now, I don't see you beating the elite guys. Mm. This is hard for me to say because I love you as a friend. There's a bridge between you and the very best guys in the world. I worry about your commitment to fighting. I think you have one foot out the door. There's a, a lot of things that concern me. There's shit that other people can do that you can't do. This sucks for you. It's, it's hard to hear. <laughs> That's you know? maybe the worst show I've ever done. Um. <laughs> Number eight, Frank Mir. Former heavyweight champion Frank Mir has been knocked out seven times in his MMA career. He was on a four-fight win streak after winning the title at UFC 48, but after a motorcycle accident in 2004, he was never the same. Mir went on to lose via knockout by Brendan Vera, Brock Lesnar, and many more. Number 7. Andre Arlovsky Andre Arlovsky used to be the scariest fighter in the UFC's heavyweight division, up until UFC 59 where he was TKO'd by Tim Sylvia. The punch didn't have a lot of power behind it, but Andre took it on the chin and wasn't able to recover. Arlovsky soon developed a knack for getting knocked out in spectacular fashion. That's it! That's it! That's it. That's it. Wow! Number 6. Gray Maynard Gray Maynard has lost five of his last six fights. Four of those losses were by knockout. After getting finished by Frankie Edgar at UFC 136, Gray's chin has become suspect, getting knocked out by TJ Grant, Nate Diaz, Ross Pearson, and even himself. Gray gets a hold of him, lifts him up, bang, and dumps right him, and lands yeah. on his own yeah. head, knocks himself unconscious. Number 5. Alistair Overeem Alistair Overeem is the glass cannon of MMA. He's 260 pounds of muscle and can knock almost anyone out if he connects. But if you touch his chin even slightly, victory is almost certain. He said his opponent Bigfoot was nothing more than a walking target, only to be KO'd in the third round. He's one big, huge walking target. And I'm pretty good at striking, so one plus one is two. Overeem has an impressive list of KO losses to Chuck Liddell, Shogun, Noguera, and many more. Number four, Keith Jardine. The Dean of Mean, Keith Jardine, was coming off an impressive upset win over Ultimate Fighter winner Forrest Griffin when he was matched against a complete unknown in Houston Alexander at UFC 71. Jardine was expected to beat Houston with ease, but the assassin had other plans. <laughs> Jardine also went on to revive Vanderlei Silva's career after getting KO'd in the first round by the axe murderer. Jardine went on to be TKO'd three times after the Silva fight and retired in 2012. Dude, are you all right? I never bet out. Number three, Marvin Eastman. At UFC 50, it looked as if Marvin Eastman was knocked out by a gust of wind from a missed punch. A big shot by Travis Luter. One punch knockout. His opponent, Travis Luter, was known primarily for his ground game and has never finished someone via KO before. Travis, you are a great jiu-jitsu guy. What are you doing knocking out a kickboxer? I... Eastman went on to lose via TKO by Rampage Jackson, Drew McFedries, and Vitor Belfort, where he received one of the worst cuts in MMA history. Look at, look at that cut. That is just nasty. That is the nastiest cut I have ever seen in a fight. Number 2. Jonathan Goulet 
Jonathan Goulet's biggest claim to fame is being on the receiving end of one of the fastest knockouts in UFC history. Goulet has been KO'd nine times in his 35-fight career and was knocked out in his very first MMA fight, as well as his last fight, where he retired in 2010. Head kick right off the start. That's probably what's... Nice one-handed punch. Knocks him out. He is out. Number one, James Thompson. James the Colossus Thompson proves that just because you look tough doesn't always mean you are. One of the best examples is his fight against Alexander Emelianenko at Pride 28. Thompson riled up the crowd with his intimidating demeanor, but was KO'd only 11 seconds into the fight. And here we go! And Thompson right away pulls into Emelianenko like a house on fire, and this is a slugfest! I told you! And Thompson is rocked by Emelianenko! And rocked big time! And it's over! Thompson has been KO'd 13 times in his MMA career. Right about there. Oh. It was just a clip across the nose, wasn't it? Or oh. it didn't land clean. Losing his last fight to 46 year old Soyoshi Kusaka. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe.